stops on the road trip. So as you know, we're celebrating Into One's 10 year anniversary this year. And while that feels like a lot of history for a little church, when you look around the building that we call our home, you'll find a lot more history. As you come in the building, you may notice on the left-hand side, there is a cornerstone that says Baptist 1925. That is when our church was built. However, it had a history even before this building. The original Stovo Baptist Church had a building that was built in 1874 at Pine Street and Main Street, just east of here. The new building was built in 1925 to accommodate their growing church. If you walk down to Pine Street now, you'll see two houses that stand on the land that was originally donated by Abraham Stouffer for the Baptist Church. This church was built in 1874. Prior to this, the congregation had met in the Temperance Hall on College Street. The church building at Pine Street was demolished in 1926, and the bricks were used in the construction of the new church at Main Street and O'Brien Avenue. The lot at 6273 Main Street that we occupy now had a variety of uses in the early days of the village of Stouffville, including Ed Wheeler's pig pen, a frog pond, and a dump. On June 19, 1925, the company of the Stovall Baptist Church assembled for a ceremony to lay the cornerstone for the new Baptist Church. At the time of the laying of the cornerstone, the pastor, Walter Fleischer, wrote a heartfelt letter that went as follows. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on behalf of the members of the Stovall Baptist Church, I take great pleasure in presenting in brief a history of the cause since its inception some 51 years ago. At a time like this, we are necessarily engaged with the demands of the present hour, and our eyes eagerly scan the horizon of the future with increasing expectancy and faith in God. But we would be doing a violence to a right sense of things if we did not take a backward glance over the vista of years which have proved a blessing and contributed so tremendously to any attainment in the present. In the year 1874, under the leadership of Rev. J.B. Moore, the Baptist cause had attained such strength that it was deemed imperative to build the edifice in which we have worshipped up till the spring of 1925. Prior to that time, services were conducted in the old hall that at the time stood opposite the old schoolhouse. It is scarcely possible in this brief report to survey the detailed history of the past 51 years. To suffice it to say that we have enjoyed the undeserved blessing of God in a singular way. A great multitude has passed through the doors of the old church building. Of that multitude, many have been born again through the instrumentality of its God-given message, and many have been graciously led into the holiest experiences of the Christian life through its spirit-filled and spirit-led ministry. It has not, however, always been clear sunshine. The vine has not at all times been laden with luscious fruit, but there have been barren years, times when we have drifted from the course of our calling into the paths of careless ways and prayerless days. These shortcomings we regret, and in the spirit of true repentance and humility would pray and work for a church that will be henceforth perennially fruitful and constantly in the spirit of true revival. We come now to a consideration of the present project. Of this work we can truly say others have labored and we have entered into their labors. The two members of the Baptist Church who were led by a common impulse to purchase the site upon which this beautiful building is being constructed are so thanked. Thus through the gift of Mr. John Baker who has since gone to his reward and Mr. Henry Brillinger, the first step was taken towards the fulfillment of a long cherished dream. That in brief is the story of the purchase of our church lot which for centrality of location and beauty of situation is unexcelled. Then a shadow fell on the church on the 29th of September, 1922, the Lord removed from our midst a prince in Israel in the person of Mr. John Baker. While we regretted at the time and still feel the loss of a man who was great in spiritual stature and who fulfilled in a beautiful way all that is required of those who are called Christian, yet we are profoundly grateful to God for putting it in his heart to bequeath the sum of $2,000 for the erection of a new Baptist church. When these two facts are considered, it is little cause for wonder that the pastor and members of the church were possessed by a growing conviction that it was God's will that a new church should be built. Therefore, at a meeting of the deacon's board in the spring of 1924, held at the home of Mr. Henry Brillinger, it was decided after a season of prayer to recommend to the church that we begin building operations as soon as circumstances would allow. 
As an incentive to this recommendation, the Deacons Board brought the building fund up to the amount of $5,000. This, of course, included the bequest of $2,000. To make a long story short, the church readily fell into line with the recommendation of the Board of Deacons and decided to commence building activities this spring. Accordingly, on March 23, 1925, under able leadership of the building committee, the first definite steps towards building was taken when a volunteer party of men began tearing down the old church. May 4, 1925, however, marks the date when actual building operations began and today the laying of the cornerstone marks another step in the pathway of achievement. This brief summary would not be complete without referring to the cooperation of a great host of friends who have willingly and gladly come to our help. Let me refer briefly to such important contributions as the voluntary teaming and trucking of gravel, sand, brick, and countless other commodities required in the building operations. The voluntary labor is another feature that is helping to lift the financial load. In fact, there is no feature of the work that is not encouraging. At a time like this, the financial problem looms large and forbidding, but to the praise of God, we can say that our people have voluntarily laid magnificent contributions on the altar, gifts that have meant real sacrifice. Truly, our cup has been filled with the blessing of the Lord, and not only filled, but running over, when members of the Stovall Baptist family have been so loyal to the call, what shall we say when different friends from outside pour in their gifts? Certainly, our cup runneth over, and like David, rejoicing gives place to prophecy, and we say with heart conviction, surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Stovall Baptist Church continued to serve in this building on Main Street from 1925 until the late 1990s. How amazing is it to see God bring things full circle, that we can be part of a church building whose DNA was formed with giving of time, treasure, and talent right from the beginning, that a committee of volunteers gave their time, gave gifts of finances to build this building with their own hands, and that we now can continue the mission of serving the community in a beautiful central location just as they had hoped. Stops on the road trip. A part of our heritage.